Welcome back to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play a game that is really, really good. It's called Tsuro, the Game of the Path. The rules are very simple, but it has a lot of variations, and the gameplay is super fun. So this is a digital board game. I've actually seen people play the real board game version of this as well, and it's it's really, really good. I think especially if you played with someone, we're going to play it against AI, because that's what we do here. But if you choose to play, to get the game yourself, you might want to play it with someone else, because I, I think that's where the game shines. All right, so we're going to play two games here. One quick one with multiple opponents, because the more opponents you have, the faster the game goes. And then one that's going to be like one versus one, like, you know, like a cool one. I'm going to be playing with the red one, because the path is going to be able to... It's going to be a bit better visible. And then we can pick our AI level. We're going to have um, purple, which is going to be clever. And then we're going to pick yellow, which is going to be silly. Oh, he's turning right next to me. Okay. Now you can change the goals. We're going to go with the longest part. I will explain all the goals in a moment once we actually see how the game is played. Okay. So the way the games work is that you're given three tiles. You can pick one of them and place it. And then your figurine, which is called your dragon, is going to move on the path that's associated to it. So, for example, I could move, like, place a tile like this, so my figurine would move into this position, because that's where this is aimed. Now, because of the, this, this figurine here, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call this one Zemcat, after one of my patrons. So, the, if I place this here, Zemcat is going to move upwards, over in that direction. I could also turn it, and make it so that he has to move a little bit elsewhere if I wanted to. That she has to move a little bit elsewhere if I wanted to. So I can do that. I can affect that. Okay. What is the goal of the game? Well, that depends on how you set it up. Typically, the goal of the game is to be the last figurine standing. Because what can happen is, let's say, Zemkat's uh, figurine is over here. Actually, no, over here. Then it has to follow this path, which would move it out of the board. In which case, it's game over. But we actually picked a different goal. We picked the longest path. So our goal is to try to create as long of a path behind us. As possible. So you can, for example, see Zemcat's path is this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pick this. This is going to make me move like that and Zemcat moves over here. Now this one... Uh, Cassie is actually not Cassie. This is going to be Arcus. So this is Arcus and this is Zemcat and we're going to play. Ooh, okay. Zemka keeps moving against me, which is bad. So if we hit each other, it's actually game over. So we gotta figure out a way. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is so good. I'm actually gonna kill Zemka right now. I'm just gonna be like, nope. You don't get to play with us, girl. Let's do this thing. It's a valid move for me, so I can place it and it's game over. She cannot play anymore. And we, and we get an elimination bonus so we can swap our tiles. So that's actually really, really good. So we could choose what we want. So I would I like to... I don't actually like this. So I'm going to place... Where would I like to... I would like to go to the right, which I, I can do with... Well, actually, I could do it... I can go to the left. I can't really go to the right with any of these, but I'm going to grab this one because I like it. Yeah, let's, let's have this one and we're going to have one more, whatever they give us. All right, so that's really, really cool. So we already eliminated one of our opponents, and now it's just me and Arcus, and we see how far we can get. Oh, if we can, if I can turn to the left, I could then follow up over here and go somewhere again. For example, like this. This is a really good loop for us, because we can join in on this, and then if we could get another immediate turn, we could follow up that way. It should give us a really nice move and make the path longer. If we follow on the bottom one, that would work as well. But it wouldn't be as cool as what I wanted to do. Like, if I were to do this... But what I'm thinking is, it would be also nice to connect this path with that path. Could we do that? We cannot do that, actually. So, I think we're gonna go with this. Hmm. But regardless of what we do there, we won't be able to... Get for, uh, unless we, if we go straight, then we would do a turn to the left, so turn here with this tile, and then we, we would need a tile that moves us to the further one. But if we don't get that, then it's game over for us. I think that that's too risky. So we're just gonna do the right thing, we're just gonna move this way. It, it would have been good, but it would have been very risky. Oh, that was a really good, nice move for them. I'm kind of sad about this because that would have been such a good move. 
Now we could move backwards and just could get that way, but I think I think I'm just gonna go straight this time. Try to maybe turn over here and then go through this path like that. Oh, he's moving backwards. Nice. Ark is doing such a good job here. All right. Uh, we could. Oh. So we could go backwards and get to here. No, but that would move us to game over. Okay, that was not good. Yes, that move us to there. This thing is gonna get us to here, but then because of these two loops, it would be game over very soon for us. Not yet, but soon. So what I think what we'll do is we'll try to go this way, and then turn up onto this thing and then go inside there. Trying to figure out a way to make so they have actually 61 centimeters. I've got 48, so we gotta figure out a good way to get more, like this, for example. Maybe go onto this path on the left and then go back down, and then could move through that. That'd be really, really nice. Could we do that? Uh, doesn't seem like it. We could move ahead, but then we don't know what they would do, so we don't know where we'll end up. And if they place something like moving me to this, you would just die there. So that's not the most beneficial move for us right now. I could just go backwards. I'm probably gonna do that. It, this is giving him a nice spot if he managed to, to uh, connect the right way. But I was too worried about like what he could do because he could do what to me what I did to Zemgat. So I don't want that to happen, okay? Oh, also we're winning now, which is kind of cool. We could, we could go backwards and end up here, and then try to go backwards again, but then again, we don't know what Tali's placing there. So it's a little bit of a risk. Alternatively, we could go... Oh, this is not a good path for us. I'm trying to find, like, a way where if I go into this, this tile, I will be able to get out over there. We might just go straight over there. I, I don't know what's gonna happen down here, I don't know what he's doing. So we want to make sure we're connected. Oh, this was such a good move for him. No! I know I said it a lot, but he's just playing really well. Now, we could... If we go to here, it will be two more tasks for us than game over, but he would get this such a long path here. That's so good. Alternatively, I could go backwards. That will get me to here. Then I can turn turn once to get to this position and then use this to get over there. That's good. So we're gonna do it. So we're gonna move like this. Go backwards. He's moving to the side, that's alright. Now we're going to move to the side as well. So we wanted to use this. And then we need to connect to this thing further ahead. He's probably going to be turning... Oh, he's not turning towards me. That's actually quite good for me because that might have put me into trouble. Alright, so this is gonna move us to here. Now... Where are we going to go after that is the question. We have to go to the right. Because if we, this is going... this is a game over path, this is a game over path. These two are game over path. So we can only go to the right, and then presumably he will pick something that will make us die anyway. So that's actually kind of interesting. If we go to the right, it's a valid... Well, actually, I don't know if we can play an invalid move. I don't think we can, even if we... Like, usually the game doesn't allow you to do an invalid move. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, like, if we know that the moment we move to the right, he's gonna put us, give us something bad, then it might be more beneficial to do this, like, go backwards and have a longer path. So let's try that. We can. Okay. Yeah, I thought it might not be possible. So let's just do it. He's gonna kill us now. I, I, I'm afraid he's gonna win, though. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna count as centimeters for me. At 138, what did I have? Yeah, I don't think... I, I think he won, actually. No, I won! Okay, so it did count. I wasn't sure if it's gonna count. 
It did, so we got 166 centimeters, so we won. All right, so this is really cool. So this was the longest path. There's also other options to get the most amount of loops or the basic version where you just try to push them away from the board. So we're going to do the push them away from the board now. I think we'll do... We'll place ourselves here and we'll do... We'll play against the blue one this time. And we'll make it... We'll make it clever, let's say. And we'll play... Yeah, we'll do the basic rules. Okay, off we go. So this counts the number of tiles. So let's go... Let's just go to the left, for example. Doesn't really matter. You just gotta survive for a longer amount of tiles than uh, Rudy. It's gonna be Rudy. Rudy's blue. Let's see if we can he can win. I mean, I want to win, but we'll see if he can do better. I do like having some sort of a pad down here on the bottom to which you can sort of like loop into. But remember, now the goal is not to be long. We just want to make sure that uh, we always have a way to, a place to go. If I go to the side and then I turn with... Go to the side. Then I'm going to be on the closest over here and then I need a quick turn to my side. I don't actually have that. So I'm not quite sure if that's the most beneficial thing right now. Let's go further then. We should have the connection that way afterwards. Because I'd like to connect up onto this. I think it would be nice. Like if I were to go this way. And then I need... From further to closer. Do we, ha do we have a further from further to closer? Uh, no, from further to further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what we need. So we're gonna go with this and then we're gonna play that and we're gonna jump on to this one and go to over there. It should be okay and then we can move towards him if we wanted to. Let's see if that's gonna work out for us. So it should be... I think I said like this. Yep. Right now again we're trying to make it long. We don't need to make it long but uh, yeah, when you can make it long why not? Because you're gonna get stuck with trying to make it long and then I'm gonna win. <laughs> you can see that you can see that Rudy has a different strategy, so let's see. See if that strategy is gonna make him in. Also, I do love if you can get like on the same tile and this especially in this one-to-one -one, because you can just like mess them up. You can mess them up so well. Let's go like that. We're gonna turn into the left and then choose probably to join up over here if we can. Yeah, that should be okay. Like for example, if I were to play this once I'm there... Actually, that's probably not the most beneficial. Maybe something like this would be better. Yeah, this would be good. Again, it would make it long. Don't need it, but why not? So then what I'm thinking here is to go with something like this. And we're gonna place our beautiful tile and we'll end up in one of these places. Actually on the on the bottom there. It should be okay. We do have a turn afterwards, right? I hope we have a turn. We do have a turn. You know what I'm wondering if I made myself stuck. Because since I'm on this side. Oh, there actually is a way. I was like, I was gonna say, I need to find a way to get to the opposite part of the board. And that is this. This is going to get me to, right next to him, which is not great, but he can't kill me from this position. There's nothing he can do that made me immediately fall off the board. This place is dangerous because... Well, actually, there's this here as well, though. So do we want to stand next to him or not? Is the question. Alternatively, we can just start moving towards this way and then aim, like, go like that. And then maybe go this way. And then we would have to have, uh, actually, some sort of way to turn. No, let's let's go next time, just for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm making such a long path. Also, I have way more loops than he does, so on everything except the, the part that they were playing, I'm winning. Okay, so he made me turn this way. Now, could I kill him now? I can't kill him. There's nothing I can do to kill him straight up. But is there a way for me to hurt him? 
This makes us on tiles next to each other, which and he then he goes first, so this could give me something that I, would allow me to hurt him later. Not like immediate pain for him, but it's like pain is coming soon for him. Let's do that. Why are you trying to hurt me? I was nice to you. Like I didn't do anything and now you just keep threatening me. Also, I'm being super clever. Um, he just killed himself. Yeah, he just killed himself. So all we gotta do is move to the side and not care. Man, I didn't even mess this up for you. This is not on me. There's nothing you can say. You just killed yourself. Well, your figurine. You know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. He is kaput. And we have won. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did right now in the comments, you can click on the right to watch some other digital board games that we played on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.